What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to the Versus series. This is the series where I take two similar elements from a Call of Duty game, I put them side by side, have a look at their stats, in order to find out which one is better. In today's episode, we're actually doing something a little bit different here. Normally we talk about guns, but in this one, we're going to be moving into the score streak category and covering the Sniper's Nest versus the Attack Chopper. Now, both of these streaks would be considered mid to high level score streaks. The Sniper's Nest will take 1,050 score to earn, and the Attack Chopper takes 1,300 score to earn. As for their active duration, this is the amount of time that they are actually on the map and lethal. It's actually equal for both of these at 70 seconds. But having said that, there is a little bit of a difference in the amount of time it takes for these streaks to actually get onto the map and become lethal. Now keep in mind this value can potentially vary a little bit from map to map, but both of these were tested on the same map, which was Nuketown. And with the Sniper's Nest, it takes 10 seconds to enter the map and become active, whereas the Attack Chopper comes in just a little bit faster at 7 seconds. So not a major difference by any means, but if you really pay attention, you definitely do notice this. This brings us to the next really important stat to cover between these two choppers, and this is their durability. How long do they last, or how hard are they for the enemies to take down? Well, it turns out they're actually the same in this particular area. Both of them will take four rockets total to take them down, keeping in mind the first rocket is for the flares for both of these, and then the other ones are actually dealing damage, so... Technically, three rockets hitting them will take them out, but you do need that one extra rocket for the flares. And for the other really effective method of taking these down, it will take you five FMJ2 Paladin shots to take down both of these choppers. That will also translate if you're using the Titan with FMJ2, it will take the same number of bullets to take them down. So in this area, like I said, they're exactly the same. Although one thing I will say is the Attack Chopper tends to move around a little bit more than the Sniper's Nest. The Sniper's Nest will move from place to place, but it tends to hover in one place for longer. So I guess you could say in some way, the Attack Chopper does have a slight advantage here, but realistically speaking, it doesn't make that much of a difference. If somebody's trying to shoot it down, it will be pretty much just as difficult with both of these. So up until this point, the Sniper's Nest seems to have the advantage over the Attack Chopper simply because it is cheaper to earn and it's pretty much equal in every other way. But this brings us to the next stat we're going to look at, and this is how lethal are these helicopters? So for this one, what I did is I went into my COD Companion app to check out my stats with these, and I'm just going to share my personal stats here. It is a pretty good sample size, but with the Sniper's Nest, I have 789 kills with 208 uses, and this will translate to 3.79 kills per use on average. When we compare that to my stats with the Attack Chopper, with that, I haven't used it nearly as often, but I still have a pretty good sample size at 128 uses, and in those 128 uses, I got 434 kills, which will translate to 3.39 kills per use on average. So once again, at least for me, based on my experiences over a long period of time, we're talking since the launch of Black Ops 4, the Sniper's Nest is slightly more lethal than the Attack Chopper. They're fairly close, but the Sniper's Nest is definitely better when it comes to my experience with that. Of course, if you guys want to check that out for yourself, I would be interested in seeing some other people's kills per use with each of these streaks, just to see if those stats line up with my stats. I mean, these are AI-controlled streaks, so they should be roughly equal for everyone, but it also does partially depend on the maps and the modes that you're calling these in on. So once again, this further solidifies the Sniper's Nest as the best better score streak to use within Black Ops 4 multiplayer. But that's not all, there is one more very very important thing to note, and this is since the addition of Zero with her Ice Pick, which of these two streaks are hackable? And by hackable I mean with her Ice Pick she can actually take it so it becomes hers, and then it will start killing you and your teammates even if you were the one that called it in. Most of you guys already know the answer to this one, the Sniper's Nest is not hackable, the Ice Pick will just destroy the Sniper's Nest, which I think is fine, it's not like they're turning it against you when you call it in. Whereas with the Attack Chopper, it is hackable. So Zero will take it and turn it against you. And you actually see that happen in this gameplay that I got today specifically for this video. It just so happened that she hacked one of my Attack Choppers and it killed me a couple of times. And that right there is the reason that I don't use the Attack Chopper almost ever. When putting these two against each other, it is very obvious that the Sniper's Nest is far superior. It's not only cheaper to earn, it's also more lethal on average, and it can't be hacked and used against you. It can only be destroyed. Every other area is at least roughly equal to the Attack Chopper. Yeah, the Attack Chopper, like I said, it moves around a little bit more, which makes it very, very slightly harder to shoot down. And also, it comes onto the map about three seconds faster on Nuketown, at least. But aside from that, the Sniper's Nest is just clearly better. 
I would even go so far as to say if they swapped the score values and they made it so the Sniper's Nest took 1300 score and the Attack Chopper was 1050, I would still be using the Sniper's Nest more than the Attack Chopper because I still feel it would be the superior streak. But of course, that's just my opinion based on these pretty solid stats. I'd like to know in the comment section below, does anybody disagree with me here? I kind of doubt anybody will, but if you do, of course, I would love to know in the comments and just let me know why you disagree with that. But with that, we're going to wrap up today's episode of the Versus series. Also, let me know in the comments section below if there are two other elements that are similar that you'd like to be compared. Those can be weapons, perks, score streaks, whatever you want. As long as they're somewhat comparable and you want to see them go up against each other, just let me know what you guys want to see in those comments. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.